So thank you. Uh, OK, are, are, are we done? OK. Um, there's something I need to tell you. Uh, machine learning is really dangerous. You should not play with this stuff unless you really know what you're doing. Um, a couple of things to know. Um, you need to be both, if you're not both careful and courageous, do not touch machine learning algorithms. You will hurt people. Um, so to give an example of this, um, what I'm not talking about, and I'm just going off the cuff here, I'm not talking about um, the sort of thing that people fear, like with Terminator or something like that, where the machine learning becomes sentient and then decides to destroy us all or something like that. That's not the real danger of a machine learning algorithm. It's how they're used and what they do to people. To give you an example, uh, social media uses uh, machine learning algorithms a lot. And how they do this is to figure out what it is that your experience should be on their site. Uh, for that matter, uh, this, is, this is being applied across the internet. So the machine learning algorithms, you have one that is watching just you and is learning only your behaviors, is learning only your, uh, your, the, the things that you click on, it's learning what those are and giving you more of those. So, um, for an example, uh, my mom loves politics, and uh, she has been clicking away at politician sites for uh, the, good, the better part of six years, um, ever since she discovered Facebook. What has happened is that over time, the machine learning algorithms have learned a lot about her past. Uh, they have learned this through the empirical evidence that they gather through what things she clicks on. And they store those things. And they give her more of that, whatever that happens to be. In her case, it's because uh, it gives her more of political view X rather than political view Y. And as it does that, it gives her more and more extreme versions of political view X. You can imagine what would happen if we had an entire, see what I mean? Okay. You can imagine what would happen if everyone had that, which they do. Imagine for a second what would happen if everybody was only given a view of the world that became more and more extreme based off of their initial clicks that they did. What would that produce? Perhaps a world where we didn't talk to each other anymore. A world where uh, we are afraid to talk to each other about political things, where we're not given other people's points of view, where we are becoming increasingly isolated. These machine learning algorithms are literally tearing us apart from each other. They are putting us into little tiny boxes that are determined by our past behavior and saying, you're an X, you have political view X, we're only going to show you political view X. There is so much more to the world, but we're only going to show you this because we know that you click on this thing. And that's not the machine learning algorithm's fault. It's actually the developer's fault. It is the fault of people in my profession that this has happened. And I want to apologize to everyone for it. The reason I'm saying this right now is because I was talking to some people who are not developers. At a, uh, at a bar uh, in Los Feliz. And, oops, oh my goodness, what is going on here? That's not what's supposed to happen. <sighs> so I was talking to some friends at, um, at a bar in Los Feliz. And they were telling me about their problems trying to get different points of view than the ones that they already believe in and the fact that the websites that they go to are not giving it to them. And I know the reason why. It's because of these deep learning algorithms. There may be other things going on too, but this really does have an impact on people. And this is the reason why I say this is dangerous. And I said to them towards the end of the night, you know, I see your point of view that you're not being able to connect to other people, that this is driving us apart from each other. It's creating like a, an atmosphere of civil war. Um, and I said, I'm going to look into seeing if I could find some way to make deep, deep learning algorithms, or at least the ones that I write, um, 
give someone a balanced point of view besides just giving them what they want. And it was the expression on, um, on my friend's face. Um, he said, please do. And it made me realize, whoa, this is a really big deal. So when we are working as professionals, um, we need to be careful not to put people into cages by using machine learning algorithms. Uh, another example towards this is my own experience trying to become a software developer. Um, before I was a software developer, I was a retail salesperson. And trying to get um, access to uh, people who were software developers was just about impossible with the way in which um, the social networks worked, um, especially the ones for professional networking. They would look at my past history and go, uh, we're not going to tell you about um, uh, opportunities in software. We're not going to show you people in, in, in software. We're not even going to give them your name. We're going to say when you try to connect to them, someone from, from, uh, you know, from retail place X wants to talk to you. They won't even say my name. And I don't know, maybe that's user error, but I'm a pretty smart guy. I figured out how to code myself. So if I can't figure this out, then I don't think that very many people can. And I don't think it's fair to blame the user for this. So in any case, I'm still not getting um, uh, results from those machine learning algorithms for my own profession. Why? Because I've got 10, 12 years of retail experience and about uh, a year's worth of software. And it doesn't realize that my life has drastically changed. It's still trying to keep me in that box. It is turning our society into a caste system based off of the way that these machine learning algorithms are working. We need to stop that. We need to let these things forget us every once in a while and relearn us from the ground up or something. Um, you know, we can't do this to people. And not only that, but we're doing it to ourselves too. We are limiting ourselves so much with this. So, uh, and the reason I say courage is needed too is because we're going to need to be able to stand up to stakeholders, people who want us to build them a machine learning algorithm um, and say, we need to make sure that this thing is not going to hurt, hurt people. Um, and their answer might be, I'm really only concerned with my bottom line. And we need to be able to say, no, it's going to hurt your bottom line in the long run. It's going to hurt you, and it's going to hurt me, and it's going to hurt everyone. And I don't want to be someone who hurts people. Um, that being said, it's probably still going to happen. But in any case, I'd like to say that I, I will not do that. And I hope that you don't either. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I was going with this. Please be careful with machine learning algorithms. They really have a lot of power to them. And when they're ubiquitous, then they can become oppressive. So that's my message. Thank you for listening.